I know a lot of people getting their real estate license or thinking of getting their real estate license are a bit confused or haven't even researched too much into who does what in the real estate industry. Well, the easiest way to think about it is you have three parts to building a business in real estate. You have your local board, your brokerage, and you, the real estate agent. In this video, I'll break down how these three parts working together can build a lifelong business around your real estate license. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? Callum Moore here, and this channel is share information that we need to achieve real estate success. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. At any point during the video, check out the description below. I list links to what we discuss, all my recommendations, and how to contact me down there. Let's get in the video. Okay, so first we'll establish each three parts, basically what they are and what they do. Then we'll get into the fun stuff of how they work together to build a business or grow an established business. First on the left here is your real estate board. Your real estate board is in charge of taking care of, monitoring, and organizing the multiple listing service or MLS. When you join a real estate board, this is what makes you officially a realtor. You are now a part of organized real estate and it has three levels, local, provincial, and national. Real estate boards represent brokers and salespeople at the local level, Aurea at the provincial level, and there's Korea as well that operates on the national level across Canada. These associations represent the interest of their members in the real estate industry. So that's what they are, and we'll come back to how they can help us grow a business, but onto your brokerage. Real estate agents cannot work on their own. They have to work under a broker and is one of the ways the real estate industry is regulated. A broker can open their own brokerage firm, and the brokerage firm is more or less an extension of their business and provides services to other brokers or real estate agents. The services, training, tools, and support that that brokerage firm provides is what can attract real estate agents and other brokers to want to pay them to be a part of their brokerage and these attributes and conveniences can hopefully help them grow their own business. A brokerage is essentially the next step or a broker leveling up their business game to a certain extent. It's not for everyone. A car mechanic, for instance, might be very happy just working on cars and collecting a paycheck. Where other mechanics that might be more of entrepreneurs and have goals and ambitions of opening their own shop. And even myself, I have no ambition at all to ever open up my own brokerage. Very content with what's out there. Okay. We'll come back to how that brokerage can help us build a business again. Let's move on to us, the real estate agent. On just a basic level, a real estate agent slash realtor or broker is a person who represents sellers or buyers and provides a service in a real estate or real property transaction. We are real estate agents providing a service and being compensated for it. Too easy. Okay, so now we know what makes up our business. These three parts, your real estate board, your brokerage, and of course, you, the realtor. And now the fun stuff, how can these three parts work together and grow a lifelong business? Your real estate board gives you access to the back end of the MLS and the ability to advertise on realtor.ca. This is extremely valuable, debatably the most valuable of all the tools we'll need to grow a business. This is information that we need, that we pay for to help our clients make good educated decisions. Decisions coming to a competitive value to price their property to sell and good market analysis on determining an offer to buy. We need this tool and of course we need their website. When you join a board, you will now be able to advertise your client's property on Realtor.ca. Realtor.ca simply gets an overwhelming amount of the traffic searching for a home. You have to use it if you want to represent your clients well. There's just no way around it. Having access to this tool, this information, and this website alone with hard work and literally a telephone, you can now learn everything about your local market and make yourself extremely valuable. The inventory in the market for sale and what has sold. Keep it simple, stay up to date, and provide value. To a certain extent, I just really want to get this through to people watching this about the simple value that your board provides. A lot of people watching this are getting your license or have just gotten your license, and there are a million people telling you you need this marketing strategy or you need this coaching or this office to be successful. And I just try to keep it simple to a certain extent. You literally just need what I call the Bible, the back end of the MLS, the ability to advertise advertise on Realtor.ca, ideally two feet and a cell phone. Okay, so with that said of all you need to be successful, 
you actually also need a brokerage. The real estate industry is regulated and one way it's regulated is that you need to work under a broker or broker of record. Okay, so this is okay. This is something we need. We need to have a brokerage. So on top of having access to the Bible, let's add some more value to ourselves. I look for three things in a brokerage, the people, the numbers and the training. To a certain extent, they are all connected with support. They are supporting you as people. They are supporting you by not weighing you down and wanting too much of your money and commissions. And last, supporting us in training and being there for us that 5% of the time we find ourselves in unique scenarios that happen a few times in a real estate career. But if we break these three down, first let's start at the people. Although we are essentially growing our own business, we are independent contractors with, as of October 1st, 2020, gained the ability to incorporate by setting up our own personal real estate corporation. I still wanna surround myself with like-minded people that not only do I get along with, but can help grow my business. If I only live once, I wanna work with awesome people that I can trust and have mutual respect. Second, the numbers. The numbers just have to make sense. With the ability to learn online and not have to pay crazy desk fees or terrible splits, I need to know what I'm paying for has value and I have the ability to reinvest back into myself and if I'm ambitious and crush, I want incentive to do so. And last, the training. If you know me by now, I need perfectly organized video tutorials and trainings. I need training from people that have an always learning mentality and ideally getting training from people that are actually doing what they preach. But at the very least, surrounded by others in the training that are also taking action as well. Okay, so first of the three, you have your board. Second, your brokerage. And third, we have us the real estate agent. And for this as us as the real estate agent, it's as simple as taking action and being consistent. You have your board for access to valuable information and advertising. You have your brokerage, you have the people, the right numbers, the training and support. And now for us, it's just taking action, staying consistent and building a lifelong business around this license. I really hope that helped and gave you a bit more of an understanding of the three parts that make up having a small business as a real estate agent. And again, if any of this resonated with you and you wanna find out more information on what we're doing for brand new real estate agents in Ontario that join eXp Realty with me, reach out. You can find all of my information in the description below email, DM, book a call with me, comment on this video, I get back to everyone. If that's for you, I'll talk to you soon. If not, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.